Yeah, I was just looking through the uh, the uh, attendee list for uh, IMTS. It's something like eighteen hundred companies. You know, eighteen hundred companies. Wow. Eighteen hundred companies is just you know uh, it will probably take like a month to meet everybody, but you've got like four and a half <laughs> meaningful days, right? So the uh, to your point, I'm sure, of, you, I'm sure you could get it done in days, Radar. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it, man. One of these days. Be the brain to the rescue. To your to your point of you know finding that middle ground between quality and quantity, uh, that's kind of the nature of the new uh, be the brain for events offering that we've been working with, which is to say, look, you've got eighty thousand companies. Not all of them are the ones that you'd be interested in. There is a way to prioritize and pick the top two hundred and get very specific, very targeted, very contextual insights on them. So you are better prepared ahead of the event. Use those insights to strike up a conversation, maybe set up a coffee chat or a meeting prior to the event or on the sidelines. And uh, really use the face time to build a like, strong rapport and a deeper relationship with them. Like, I mean, we've been at Automate and we've been at uh, ModX and the quality of conversations we've had simply because we were aware of who our prospects are going to be interested in and what they might be finding of value, I think that, you know, to me personally, that really moved the needle, right? They saw we were coming prepared. We knew what their business was about. We knew what was, you know, taking place in their, uh, you know, situation. And mm -hmm. uh, that really was the brainchild to say that, hey, this, if this is helpful, for a company and they can see value, it must be so helpful for so many others who are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars just for those four or five days, flying in, you know, people from all over the country, sometimes all over the world and wanting to make the most out of it, right? So, yeah. yeah. I'm, so, I mean, I think you're 100% right. I mean, um, we saw the, how we were received when we handed them those pamphlets that, you know, show them like, hey, we know you're probably targeting these companies here. Like, here's free information and what's compelling going on relevant to your company. And it, it was very well received. I mean, we we were bu we were really busy after Automate. Um, and Absolutely. Mm -hmm. it, and it, 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 you know, going the extra mile does pay dividends. I think that's the bottom line. Like, mm -hmm. yes, you like there's success to, to happen when you you hit them over. You know. You, keep repetition right and consistency uh, there there is a lot of studies that frequency it does work but if you can go a little bit extra and you know that like going extra can yield something especially when there's a compelling event like look there's not one salesperson in this room well uh, in a room that would tell you i don't check for a compelling event in every opportunity hmm. but if you ask them how do they prospect they go based off technographic you know, are they hiring? You know, things are very automated now and honestly it does not really make a difference. You might as well just hit them with a, you know, pain relevance message because it's going to work the same way. You know, mm. today now it looks different. Like, how are you actually, if you know a compelling event is a big indicator for a closed deal, for a deal of the, the likelihood of a deal closing, why don't you use that for the way you reach out to people? Um, yep. right. Like whether it's, we're expanding our manufacturing plant, we just signed a big order with so-and-so company and now we need more, uh, we need more space. We need more people, right? Like these are real big events and like, what's the impact if you do not do that in time, right? Like those are the things that create change. Hmm. And then that, that's the bottom line. Like so no, no sales leader would ever tell you in their, you know, their like, would never tell you like. I don't care about a compelling event. But mm. again, when we go into these trade shows, we go into like just the way we go about outreach, um, we don't try to even track it. Mm. We say it takes too much time. And you know, it does. It does take too much time. Cause like if if your frequency is not frequent enough, you're gonna miss the boat. Because here's the thing, like if they're showing high signs of telling events that are relevant to your product, you're probably behind the eight ball a little bit. You need to get in there. Mm. 
at least now, like with you know, and this is why I always loved being a brain. It allowed me to quickly identify that, and then allowed me to understand who should I prepare for. Um, and and then, like you said, the trade shows was, was another great example. So, like, if you know there's people, okay, if you know that seventy four percent of people are going to end up making a decision after a trade show, like they a lot, and a lot of times it's something is a vendor they met at a trade show. Hmm. Yeah, instead of focusing on the whole hundred percent or the whole seventy four four percent of that, why not understand who's the twenty percent of the people that are looking or are showing events that would suggest they're looking at something like what you do, because mm -hmm. they don't know what you do unless they've talked to you before. Right. And and as you're spending, like, if you try to focus on everyone, good chance you can miss those people. Spend time Basically. with the right people. These trade shows are expensive. So, um, you know, you want to make sure you maximize your time there. And, uh, you know, that's what, you know, Beta Brain is going to allow them to do. Yeah. Well said.